Hey guys, Mr. Manik here and in this video I'm revealing how people make an extra five to eight hundred dollars a month using Notion without much effort as complete beginners. So let's just give it a try. First and foremost, if you're not familiar with the website, I'm talking about Notion.so. This is a place you can connect to in order to access thousands of different templates that are all fully customizable. Meaning that you could literally click on one of these pictures right here and just start entering in your data and fully customize it. You can change the pictures, the fonts, the overall style, you can just fit it to your purpose. And I can see a lot of different use cases for this website right here, but let's just get a little bit more specific. The first example that comes to mind is organizing your business and implementing some sort of structure, not doing things randomly. And here's what I mean. You can switch over to the planning templates and these are specifically created for helping you plan your business or your side hustle or even your extra time activities, whatever it is that you want to plan. Notion templates can also be used for HR and people or marketing projects or engineering, freelancing, education, you name it. There's also going to be a special section here that's entitled Notion Picks and these are basically the most useful ones. Now guys, let me tell you, this is an insanely successful project and it's a very clever idea and here is why. In order to understand exactly how Notion works, Let's also head over to canva.com and search for Instagram post. Here's the thing. Let's say that we're a business owner, right? So we don't really have a lot of time to post on our social media. However, we know that posting our social media is mandatory if we want to expand our reach. But we don't really have the time to do it because we've got business to do. So how can we go about it? Well, one option is hiring an agency that's going to take care of our marketing process or we can just use templates. And here's what I mean. All of these pictures right here that you can see on the screen right now are fully customizable, meaning that if I were to click on this picture and open it in the in-browser editor, I can just start typing in any text that's going to replace this mock-up text right here. And then I can just download the picture onto my device in a few clicks and repost it on my Instagram. And that is very, very convenient. That's precisely what Notion is all about. People are creating a single template that can be used for a variety of different purposes, for a variety of different fields of activity and that is the beauty of it but here's the thing what if instead of being the person who starts using the templates we can be the person who creates the templates and sells them people are actually doing that as we speak just take a look here this template is being sold for 99 dollars and the best part about it is that you can sell this template more than once because this can be used by anybody who needs it. They can fully customize it depending on their needs, right? And that saves us a lot of time and gives us the potential of earning passive income. Once you create that template and list it on Notion, you can generate money over and over again without having to do any additional work. And that is the beauty of today's method. And trust me, creating such a template is not gonna be rocket science. Now, there is gonna be some work involved. You're not just gonna do it like that. However, it is well worth it. This is a skill that can be monetized big time. And if you're willing to go the extra mile and learn how to create Notion templates, you can make a lot of money online. But now guys, I get it. Let's say that you're not a huge tech enthusiast or you think this is gonna be too difficult or perhaps you think that the market is oversaturated and you're gonna have no chance of competing against the other guys that are already established sellers. I get it. Those are all valid excuses, but they are excuses nevertheless. But here's the thing. If you don't wanna create templates and sell them, I get it. So here's another way you can make use of Notion. And let me actually walk you through the entire process one step at a time. This is something that I have personally implemented and I have found decent success with it. What I want you guys to do is switch over to any freelancing website and search for a virtual assistant. Put it simply, this is just somebody that's going to help you with your very simple online tasks, such as data entry, or just organizing data, or doing a little bit of research, things of that sort that don't really require an expertise in a field of activity and can be done by anybody but it's going to take time right these guys are just exchanging some of their time for cash here there are going to be over 30,000 different services available and so the competition is also pretty damn high but that doesn't mean this is not still a huge earning opportunity and let me show you why just by taking a look at the first results here we're going to see that each and every single one of these sellers is getting decent number of sales and that is for a very good reason people need these kind of services constantly every now and again they're going to stumble upon a task this is going to take too much of their time and so they are willing to pay somebody else an amount of money just to do it for them so they can keep focusing on some other stuff they've got to do you're literally paying somebody else to take care of a task that was your responsibility but at the end of the day you're saving some time so it might be worth it that is pretty much what a virtual assistant can help you with and here's the thing that we need to understand you don't necessarily have to do this whole thing alone now generating your first sales is going to be a little bit tricky if you have no reviews whatsoever people are going to be quite skeptical of working with you 
you for a very good reason, right? You don't just want to work with somebody who's never worked with anybody else before. You don't know whether or not they are well qualified. You don't know whether or not they are going to deliver a high quality service. You don't even know whether or not they do speak English and understand the requirements. So that's a gamble. And that's why you need to have a little bit of patience if this is your first ever attempt and you're just starting out. But once you get a few of those reviews rolling in, you're gonna see a lot of traction. More and more people will reach out to you with various different requirements. Some of them will actually be outrageous. They are just gonna pay a very small amount of money for a huge amount of work, but you can just decline them. Not if you're just starting out. If you're just starting, you want to do as much work as possible in order to get as many reviews as possible. And then moving forward, you can become a little bit more picky, right? But guys, here's a message that I'm trying to get across. You do not have to complete all of the tasks yourself. Because at some point, once you get a few reviews and people start reaching out to you, there will literally be so many different opportunities, so many different tasks that you have to complete that there's literally no time for you to complete all of them. And you will just end up canceling different requirements and that's going to be really detrimental for your score or you're just going to end up making a lot of mistakes and getting a bad review which again is very detrimental for you and that's going to reduce your overall score your overall rating and that's going to reduce the amount of money you're making however you can scale it up in other words you can reach out to some of your friends and ask them for help but you're not requiring them to do anything for free you're just going to give them their fair share of the work. That way they're helping you get more and more tasks completed. And at the same time, you're getting paid. You can also keep a commission. In other words, guys, that is how you're going to build a virtual assistant agency. Instead of just working on your own and making 10, 20 bucks per day, you can actually make hundreds of dollars per day just by having other people help you. However, here's the thing. At some point, as more and more orders start coming in, things are going to get pretty tricky. Tracking all of those different requirements and their current state is going to be pretty difficult and you cannot just keep everything in mind. You will need some tracking systems, right? So you can either start using Google Sheets or Google Docs, but at some point that's going to get confusing as well. Or you can start using Notion and this is where I wanted to get eventually. You can just head over to the planning section here or whichever one you think is the most suitable. Now to be 100% honest, back when I was doing this, I wasn't using Notion, but I was using Trello which is pretty similar. Now, as far as I know, Notion is going to provide you with more functionality than Trello. But for my requirements, Trello was good enough. Basically, this is how a Trello board looks like. And what you can do is assign a Trello card to each and every single task that you get. You can also assign a member of your team to that card. That way, you know exactly which member of your team is taking care of that task. You also know the current state of that by adding these sort of labels right here, as you can see and you can move them around you're in full control here you can literally move them around you can play around with the features you can do whatever you want but the best part when it comes to notion is that you can create an identical board within this website and you can do much more other than that and there's gonna be a little bit more functionality when it comes to notion templates and by using all of these tools guys that allows you to keep track of your payments to your team that allows you to keep track of the current development of a certain task that allows you to know whether or not a task was delivered successfully and you got a good review for it. You can add all sorts of different information to that board. At the end of the day, this is just a management system. This virtual assistant agency was just a random example that is very beginner friendly, right? Because you don't necessarily need the skill. But you can actually take it one step further and find people with similar skills as you have and try building an agency around that. And moving forward, you're just going to use these Notion templates as a way to keep track of your performance, right? And so what I want to emphasize here is that Notion is not necessarily necessarily a way of generating money in and of itself and instead this is just a tool that's going to help you make even more money because you can keep things organized right now of course if you want to make money straight from notion you can start selling these templates that's going to take a little bit of time there's a learning process involved but it's eventually well worth it in my opinion you can choose whichever approach you want but the bottom line here is this notion can actually be a very useful tool to help you make more money online so that's it for now and thanks for watching